Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we will go ahead and enable Power Apps Component Framework feature in our Power Apps environment. So without wasting any further time, let's get into make.powerapps.com and then configure Power Apps to go ahead and use code components. Now one important thing out here, if you are using model driven apps, you don't need to do this because it is enabled by default. However, we are building a code component for canvas app. So we need to go ahead and do this setting. So I'll click on admin center. So next I will go ahead and select the environment. I'm going to make changes to the default environment. So I'll select my default environment and I'll click on settings. Under the settings, I need to go ahead and manage the features. So let me quickly check. The feature should be available under the product features. And here, I need to enable Power Apps component for Canvas app. Right? And I'll click on save. And that's pretty much it. You have configured your Power Apps environment to go ahead and use canvas apps now that being said let me go back into my code editor and let's start building let's start packaging our code component so i'll do a control c out here and i'll do a y and i'll start packaging my code component so to package the code component we first again need to use the power app CLI so I need pack right so I'll hit enter so we've created a solution using pack PCF and we need to go ahead and create a solution using the pack command itself before building the solution I want to go ahead and create a folder so I'll say mkdir and I'll give it a name solutions And I'll change the directory of the solution. Next, I want to create a solution, right? So I'm going to use the pack command. So the pack command would be pack solution. And if I hit enter out here, it tells me what parameters I need. I need the init, right? So I need to initialize it. I need to, so let me quickly type in init. And next parameter that I need would be publisher dash name. I'll give it a name developer. Similarly, I'll give it a publisher prefix. Perfect. I can hit enter and this will create my CDS solution. So next I would need to add a reference. So to I'll say pack solution reference and I where is the solution? It's there in my root. So I'll do this. So what did it say? It failed, right? It failed due to an error. So let me actually see what the problem is. It tells me I am not running a valid command. Okay, so maybe I'm missing something. So I go to Google and I quickly check. Ah, okay. So I Googled it and it seems that I'm missing the path. So I can hit enter and perfect. The solution has been built. Next, what I want to do, I want to build this solution. To build this solution, we need the developer tools. So I am going to use the Visual Studio developer tools to go ahead and build the solution. So I have opened my Visual Studio command prompt out here. And what I'll do first, I'll change the directory. So I'll do ms build, t build, restore. You need to do this ms build dash t forward slash restore just once, right? After that, you can just hit MS build. 
So perfect, it's building a solution. And that's pretty much it. So now what I'll do is I will go and upload the package into my Dataverse. So I'm in the right environment. I'll click on solutions. I need to import the solution. So import solution. I'll do a browse Go to my desktop. I'll say PCF glowing text should be within the solutions folder. Bin debug solutions or zip. Perfect. I'll say import the solution. Yes, I'll import it. So perfect. The solution has been imported. Next is I want to publish all the customizations. So I'll publish the customizations out here. The customizations are also published. So here, my friends, this is where we are going to use our component in the app. So I'll create a canvas app. I'll say glowing text. I'll click on create. Yeah, I need to first get a code component. So I need to refresh and code components are here. And our glowing text component is here. And I'll click on import. Now that I have the component, I can insert it onto my screen. The component looks good, I guess so. Let me go ahead and add some property. I'll say, congrats, your, your first PCF control. Okay. It's, it's looking promising. It's working. That's perfect. Size 50 PX. Text color, let's make it red. Let's go ahead and align it to center. The text alignment. And let's give it a weight bold. So here, my friends, congratulations. You have created your first PCF component. Thank you, have a great day and bye-bye.